and we back! A few years ago, NBA 2K incorporated the G League into the game, again, because it, it was there uh, well, years ago, but they reincorporated it. So once the season starts, you can see statistics, you can see what teams are winning, what teams are losing, kind of cool stuff. Until you get to the playoffs, because you cannot play the playoffs. The G League just kind of exists to say, hey, there it is. And you can low-key play some games too, um, but you cannot play the playoffs, which sucks. Today, I'm wondering what would happen if we gave one G Leaguer 99 potential. The potential to be the greatest of all time. And first thing we got to do is determine who that G Leaguer will be. So I think the best way to do that is to, yeah, to go over here to the G League stats and stuff. Um, oh, I thought that would show us the team. Nope, it doesn't show us the team. G League stats like this. And try to find a candidate like this dude right here. Um, oh my god, the first dude we see might be the candidate. Great three-point shooter, great playmaker, great defender, but he's 27. I don't want to do it, give uh, 99 potential to anybody over the age of 23, I think. Am I doing this? Uh, for every team, I just got to see who the guys are um, and figure out who makes the most sense to give 99 potential to. It, it will not be a real player, like a two-way player. Like, I, I see down here, we got, like, A.J. Green and, and, and Lindale Wigington. We won't, it has to be an auto-generated uh, G League player. The guy that makes the most sense is this Rex Holland guy. He's 6'9", 22 years old, out of Illinois. Good shooter, terrible playmaker, he's a four. Terrible playmaker, below average interior offense. Great rebounder, solid defender. The only thing is he's got an F athleticism. I, like, I'm looking at every single team, I've been through every single team, and there's not a lot of really good options under the age of 23. Everybody that at least has like a solid little repertoire stuff are on the older side. So I guess Rex is our guy. Now I feel like if I go over to free agency, and go to power forwards, is Rex gonna be in here? There he is, so there's Rex. We're going to go on and make his potential a 99, follow his his journey from hopefully G League to the league. Because I'm assuming, I got to change his uh, start age and all of that. I'm assuming that since he has the potential to be a GOAT, some team out there is going to pick him up and he won't be a G League player for long. Like he'll get a real contract. His potential is 99 maxed. And I guess we see, he plays for the Viper, man. If you're a Viper fan, stand up because you just got, you just got yourself a guy. So I'm going to simulate a little bit, uh, let's say a month into the season, and we'll check up on the Viper and see if he's still on the roster and see if he gets a real contract. So through the first month, our guy's averaging 12 and 14. Pretty solid, I guess. I'm going to go on the assumption to say that he's not going to get an NBA contract this season. Uh, so we might just simulate until close to the end because, again, there's no uh, there's no G League playoffs. So we just got to like hypothetically say, hey, they're the best team in the league or the worst team in the league, and that's the, uh, the eventual champions because, again, 2K okay, adds it. But they don't flesh it out, man. The, the G League has a lot of potential. It can be really, really fun. But instead, it's not. So I'll, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks won a championship. Now, I didn't show you uh, what the Viper did because they were three games over 500 and his stats were basically the same. We're basically going straight to the free agency period to see if he's even in the free agency pool. Because that will determine, obviously, if he gets a real job or is he going to stay in the G for another 17 years. And this video means nothing. So let's see. He is not there. I'm let, what was his name? Rex Holland. We could just go by alphabetical order. Yeah, bro. He's not even in the free agency pool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's go to the beginning of the next season and see if he's back in the G. Yes, he is. He has five badges now. Um, he is a 77 overall. He's 24. Like, he's good enough to play in the NBA, but they being stubborn and they not giving my boy a chance. Not giving him a chance. Um, he's not even on a two-way or nothing. He's just signed another one-year deal worth eighty-two thousand dollars. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going in hopes that you know since they don't know that he got better, you know. So let his his G League stats do the talking. He get a two-way contract and a boom, he's in the league and he's the next uh, Tim Duncan, I guess. Rex's numbers are pretty much the same. I think the next thing we have to do is make it so that his tendencies are really nice. You know, get it so that he takes a lot of shots. Because right now, he's probably just known across the association as a good rebounder who can score a little bit. Nah, we want you to be the scoring demigod. Because right now, shot since he's 77 and his touches are 27. No, 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 no. He's got to get that up to a 90. And then and you're still in the G League and then a 99 touches. Give that man the ball every single time. But again, he is still in the G. So we go into the end of the season. Uh, hopefully next year he gets picked up. All right, so it's been two seasons since we last talked and nobody ever gave him a contract. So for the sake of the video, I am going to sign him to a two-way contract to a random NBA team. Um, a random NBA team. 
and we'll see what he does on said random NBA team. This team could use could use a power forward, but he's a, he's a two way. Um, and th I didn't did I not sign did I not sign him? What the heck is he not on the rock? Okay, there he is. He's on the two way, but they not letting him dress. Because immediately he comes in and he one of the best players, but I can't even put him in a rotation if I wanted to. What the heck? Dude, what's the, there's no two way in. He's not even dressing. All right. Um, is this Garcia dude dressing? Let's see. Let's see. Garcia is. Oh, yeah. Garcia, I'm sorry. You lost your two way ability because you're taking potential minutes over at least to free agency. Same thing with you, BJ Monroe and, and uh, Barney Teague. I don't know none of y'all. Y'all all gone. And I still can't get that man in the minutes. And I still can't get that man in the minutes. All right. Well, we simulate. And maybe by themselves, they'll convert that two-way into a real contract and he'll actually get minutes. I don't know. I'm trying everything. I'm trying everything. The AI saw a dude that's, I think, 26 years old. He nearly had 90 overall sitting in the GA. Like, well, I, I, I don't want to be the one to give him a contract. The Bulls did it, and now we'll see if he'll ever play. They broke out zero minutes, but Jeff Green won rookie of the year. Uh, ain't that fun. Um, at least the last time I checked, he had zero minutes, and he was upset. And he still has zero minutes, and he's still upset. Also, I saw this. Um, why? What the heck? Why is he red? Risk of injury everywhere. Everywhere. He, this man is made out of glass and paper. Um, okay, so my thought is that even though he did not get minutes, that he might hit free agency now because technically he was on an NBA roster. So that's my mindset. I don't know how, how if that's flawed thinking or not, but we got to find out. He's got an offer. He's got an offer. Um, so that's fun. He will end up on an NBA team. NBA roster, I hope. Uh, let's just let's just see if that's true. He is not on a team. That is fun. Uh, he's still here. Now he's unrestricted with two offers. Bro, if you don't accept the Clippers offer, bro, like, come on, man. You play zero NBA minutes so far. Just accept the money, go hoop, and then get paid later. I don't understand why these dudes don't understand this. Accept the... He's gonna he's gonna go into the season as a free agent. Um, oh my God, the Bulls. Um, am I supposed to be doing stuff for the Bulls? I hope not. I think everything is on automatic. Yeah, everything is on automatic. So they decided themselves not to sign somebody in free agency. Hey, what, what am I gonna do? It, it, the Bulls ain't my team. I mean, it's my team, but it's not my team. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see if he is back at free agency. Because if he is, I'm gonna be upset. Um, the answer is no. He is picked up. Great. Great. You see, just accept an offer. Was it good money? Was it bad money? I don't know. You you were making eighty two thousand dollars two years ago. It was good money, but it ain't NBA money. So he did go to the Clippers for eleven million. Great. All right. So the boy is in the league. He's finally made it, y'all. He's alongside uh, Jalen Brunson, Dante Divincenzo, Corey Kisper, and Miles Turner. What has happened in the NBA over the last couple seasons? I don't know. But they got five centers. A four, one, two, three, four, five centers in a rotation. This guy even looks like a center. Are you a center? He's a small four. And Kawhi Leonard's old. He's 35, so he's just a rotational player nowadays. Uh, first NBA game from G League to good. Oh, my God. Is this the best NBA debut of all time? Now, he's got the luxury of being a 26-year-old rookie. You hear me? He's a 26-year-old rookie. Um, but oof, uh, that is a ridiculous. They might make the playoffs. He play like that every night. You know what I'm saying? That, that dude can single-handedly win you some basketball games. And it looked like that might be the case. Six offensive boards in this one. He even almost perfect from the from the three. He ain't getting to the free throw line. But that's all right. Will he make an all-star game? That's the question. Because those type of stats tell me yes, but anything can happen. All-star draft. All-star draft. Will he get selected? Is he an all-star? Is he an all-star? The answer is nah. No, no, he's not. But I'm, I'm the team is good. They're four, they're 41 and 14. Um, and he wasn't an all-star. What? No, they biggest all-star snub in the history of basketball. Unless he was there and I just didn't see. Let me let me go back again. Unless he was there and oh he was there. They said two-time all-star instead of one-time all-star because again, 2K is a bad game. Alright, so never mind. But he I was about to say he's the biggest all-star snub of all time. Also got rid of the cap space because that was the only way everybody can get a job. Because I didn't feel like doing the other uh, sliders and stuff. So we might see super teams being formed, but that, that's not what this video is about. Um, oh, he had the potential to be the biggest all-star snub of all time. His team has 40 wins at the break, 40-plus wins at the break, and he was averaging 28 and 12. If he won an all-star, then somebody was getting in trouble. But, you know, you know he's fine. They fine. There's Garland with MVP, and there's a guy, Rex, 29 and 12 with two and a half assists. Not enough blocks for a power forward, but he did get a steal, and he was 50, 40, 83. So he did everything you want him to do and more. Deep, the DPOY averaged 25 and 15. Who is this guy? Dean Myers? 
See, I ain't been paying attention to nobody outside of our guy, and this this dude is a he can't he can't do anything wrong. He's seven three and does everything. This is Victor Wembanyama light. This dude does everything except for play perimeter defense because he's seven three. But like, he's above average at everything. His intangibles suck, which which could cause some problems down the line. But yo, I th that dude is insane. The Clippers should have made an all uh, um, a top seed. There's our guys, all NBA second team as a rookie. They were the two seed, baby. If they win a the championship, then we know that he is the goat. Because that team that you saw earlier wasn't good. I didn't know if they made trades. The answer, they did. Kawhi Leonard is back in the lineup. Cole Anthony wasn't here, was he? Oh, I guess he was here. Huh. Cole Anthony was here. I remember Corey Kisper being here. Uh, Jared Vanderbilt, they traded for Jared Vanderbilt from the Lakers. Okay. Christian Wood was here before. Dante DiVincenzo was here before. So they did make a trade or two. Um, oh, my God. This guy's a 77 reserve. That's pretty high for a reserve. Anyway, um, we're up. Oh, we're in the, we got to the second round. I thought we were up 2-0, but never mind. I simulated the whole four-game series. Next round, 3-2 uh, clips. Th oh, game seven. Oh, I would love to jump into it. Let it be a close game seven. I want to see our guy perform. I want to see him go out there and showcase how he almost averaged 30 points per game as a 26-year-old rookie. The oldest rookie of the year of all time, potentially. I don't know. I'm not doing the Googles. Um, even though that is something I'm interested in. They lost, by the way. That is something I'm interested in. The oldest rookie of the year of all time. He averaged, or he put up 26 and 10 in the elimination, but shot it poorly from three. And they got eliminated. Malcolm Brogdon was the oldest rookie of the year. And he was 24. Um, and then David Robinson did it at 24 as well. And Elgin Baylor did it at 24. So him doing it at 26 broke some records. And we here to break records. That's what we do. Now, he was on the last. He only signed a one-year deal here. So I don't know where he's going to sign. We're going through the entire, entire next season or off season. Well, he's gone. Um, I wonder if he signed like a max deal. He had to sign a max deal, right? There's no way he didn't. Um, he ended up with the Lakers. You go go to the, from the Clippers to the Lakers? Oh, we know he get booed whenever they play against each other. Uh, all right, let's see who's on the Lakers then with you. It is you, Jabbar Smith Jr., Anthony Davis is still there. He's still good, too. D'Angelo Russell's still there, and he's still solid, 31 years old. Uh, so, oh, they got you running the three because they don't have a single small forward in the rotation. They said, hey, our guy Rex, he can, he can run whatever position you need him to, and you can see that kind of right here. Go on here, Rex. Do your, do your thing, Rex. Paul George just said on his podcast that Peyton Watson is like that. He just needs an opportunity. And in five years, 2K is saying that he could win most improved player. Wes Unsell was on a 71 and 11 team. Spoiler alert, ladies and gentlemen, that's our team. 71 and 11, uh, all NBA team. Uh, Jabari averaged 25 and six. And then you got Rex. Oh, he fell off a little bit as far as uh, scoring numbers, but he was on the best team in the league. He got more help. Anthony Davis is still, I I guess. Um, they got so many, look how many power forward centers are on this team, bro. And then they got like just one shooting guard that's playable. One small fool. Yeah, this is a weirdly constructed team. Anyway, it worked. It, I mean, 71 and 11 is nothing to sneeze at. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the greatest uh, regular season teams of all time. And can they back that up with a championship? Because it don't mean a thing if you ain't got the ring. Remember that? You, you, remember, the, you remember the 72 and 72 and 10 Bulls? It don't mean a thing without the ring. You know what? I should just start. Anytime we see a team. Oh, I just got an idea. First of all, we lost. Oh, no, we didn't game seven. Um, I have a shirt that says that. A vintage Chicago Bulls shirt that say, don't mean a thing without the ring. I think that whenever we have teams going close to that record or having that record or close to it, we should just switch shirts mid-video. Don't mean a thing without the ring. And then we'll see if, if it means anything. Here's a game seven against the Denver Nuggets. So I didn't even see who's on the team. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that Jokic is still there. And we're down by a lot. There's a fight, though. There's a fight and a comeback. Up by five with a minute to go. Boo, what a comeback. And yeah, it is Jokic, Colin Sexton. Ooh, ooh. They got Shin Goon. They got Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, Larry Market, and Jokic. Told you there's no salary cap. So if you got bread, you can go sign some people. All right, one seed versus two seed. It is Shea, Giddy, Josh Hart, Kaminga, and Chad Holmgren versus us. We got Anthony Davis and Rex and Jabari. They got a, 90, a near 99 overall player, though. I don't know if we got an answer for that man, Shea. Um, in game one, it's like when you have an answer for Chet. In game two, there's the Shea game. Don't mean a thing without a ring. We're down 3-0. Um, can we do the reverse sweep? Absolutely not. Well, uh, it didn't mean a thing. It didn't mean a thing. We didn't get the ring. And then Shea Ducks. I'm going to give him one more year. I'm going to give him one more year to try to get that potential ring from G League 
till he's 25 or whatever, 26, to potentially be in the finals MVP. That's what he's striving for. I don't know what the Lakers going to do this offseason because they had all those centers. And maybe that's why we lost. No guard play. Nobody to guard Shea. He went crazy. Oh, no. They just said, let's run it back. No such thing as a salary cap, but we're not going to sign nobody of importance. We're not... <laughs> We're not signing nobody of importance. Uh, all right, well, let's just simulate the they go they go on. Oh, they already started off with a loss. Just be a normal team. Be a 60-win team to win. You ain't got to do all of that in the regular season. Now, I'm not the one that started this nickname. I was just looking at Rex Holland's uh, basketball reference, and they said his nickname was Sexy Rexy. And he made All-NBA first team. 27, 12, and 3. He's 29. Um, and it, again, only three years into his career, really, but he's 29. And what did I tell them? Be, just be a cool T. I think they was cool. Oh, the Thunder are like that. We might see them in the second round. Oh, my God. The Clippers series. There we go. Sexy Rexy versus his former team. Uh, Sexy Rexy was a nickname of a old quarterback here in Chicago. Uh, Rex Grossman. Uh, shout, out to Rex, shout out to Rex Grossman, I guess. Uh, can we get out of this first round? The answer is absolutely. Get the rematch. Here's the rematch. Shay, we got somebody for you, buddy. Um... Oh, yeah, no, we did it. <laughs> no, we did it. Um, yep, yep, yep. Take y'all another championship, dog. I already know how this is going. Ah, 3 2 us. It was 3 1. And, oh, they forced the game seven. Okay. All right, here we go. Here's the game seven. It's in OKC. I think it's Chesapeake. I don't know. I'd be forgetting the names and teams be rebranding the names of the arenas and stuff. Uh, for example, Crypto.com Arena. No, thank you. It's still Staples. And um, we, we lose. We're jumping in. Beautiful. I said I wanted a game where we could jump in to see how sexy Rexy plays the game of basketball. See him in real action. Is he on the court? Is he on the? He's not on the. He, where is he? Why is he on the bench? He's he's only got two fouls. If you don't get this man out of the get, get him into the game, I know he's tired, but this is the last game of the season. Are they in the? Can I force a foul? I'm gonna try it. Are they in the bonus? Yes, they are. Uh, we had to do what we gotta do to get him in the game, man. Could that come back to bite us? Absolutely. Absolutely, but if there's one man I trust more than anybody in the world, his name is Rex Holland, and we got Tarese and running the shooting guards right now. So, so apparently our coach don't really care about anything. He don't he don't really care about anything. Let's see. Uh, Rex is wearing the number five. I think that's him right there on the on the wing. Yes, it is. D'Angelo Russell gives it up to Anthony Davis. Little old self who takes a heavily contested mid range jump shot, and he missed it. All right, Chad Holmgren gets the ball. He's pushing. That's a seven-foot center right there. Gives it up to Josh Giddy for three. It's a five-point game. It's a five-point game, y'all. Now, it could be a three-point game if I didn't uh, uh, foul, but I had to do what I had to do. Give the ball to five, please. He's being guarded by a small defender. Thank you. Josh Hart got a lot of heart. To green. Okay. I hated that shot. But when you like that, you like that. All right, get the stop here. Hit a three-game game tie. Simple. Tyree should guard Josh Giddy. Here's the screen from Chet. Go under those. Okay, we got the switch. Shea has been guarded. Oh, that's E session. Yep, that's he's cooking him. He's cooking him. I knew it. He's cooking him. What is D'Angelo Russell supposed to do there? He's just not good enough defensively to, to hang on with a near 99 overall Shea Gildas Alexander. There's the timeout down by five with about 30 seconds to go. The ball is inbounded to D'Angelo Russell again. There's not a lot of time to be messing around. If you're going to set a screen, set the screen. D'Angelo's got the ball. There's a deep entry pass. Holland is there again for another lay. All right, a steal or a foul, man. Foul the right person. Don't foul Shea. All right, Josh Giddy. Let's see what this free throw is about. Let's see what it's about. The first one is up, and it is good green. Oh, oh no, season over. Season over. I ain't know he was gonna be green releasing. He got the clutch. He's got the clutch gene. I didn't know. I didn't know Josh Giddy had it. Yeah, he had both. No timeouts. We got to get going. It's not a lot of shooting on the court. Um, they took out Jabari Smith Jr., who was one of the shooters. So that's something. Um, and D'Angelo Russ. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanted to know what happens if you give a G League player 99 potential, 2K doesn't care. Uh, yeah, 2K doesn't care. Uh, they would have that man spend his entire career in the G League, even if he gets to a 90 plus overall player. So you got to step in and put on the GM cap and sign that boy to a contract. Josh Giddy versus Darius Garland. And the winner is PG to DG to PG, who I ain't been showing you, but he's put together a top five point guard of all time type resume with three MVPs and now two championships. So, uh, he might be one. I, I don't know.